Hi, Sean. Yes, the saga does go on. And the president also commented on another big television interview yesterday, that being of Chris Krebs, that former DHS official who headed up the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, best known as CISA, who talked to 60 Minutes and continued to say that this is the most secure election in American history. Listen. I know, based on what we have seen, that any attacks on the election were not successful. He also said that no voting machine, to his knowledge, was manipulated. But, Sean, to his knowledge being the operative phrase, because DHS officials we talked to says that CISA never investigated or forensically looked at any of the Dominion voting machines. They also told us in a statement, quote, CISA does not have firsthand information on allegations of voting fraud or investigate such claims, responsibility for which lies with state and local authorities and the Department of Justice. Officials telling us they're more like a consulting firm. Now, as I said, the president had to respond to this interview he took to Twitter to uh, last 60 minutes and say they never reached out to the White House for comment. He also said, quote, our 2020 election from poorly rated Dominion to a country flooded with unaccounted for mail-in ballots was probably our least secure ever. The president expressed frustration in an interview with Maria Bartiromo uh, on Sunday morning over the fact that the DOJ and FBI seems to be, quote, missing in action. Also saying, where were they in regards to the investigation of the Russia investigation? The president also hinted that the court, uh, Supreme Court, might not take this up as he continued to criticize the courts in general as well. Listen. This is total fraud and how the FBI and Department of Justice, I don't know, maybe they're involved. But how people are allowed to get away from this stuff with this stuff is unbelievable. This election was rigged. This election was a total fraud. And it continues to be as they hide. And the problem we have, we go to judges and uh, people don't want to get involved. But the legal efforts for the president did get some uh, support yesterday or a win in a Georgia court when a judge decided to uh, enact an injunction to make sure that the Dominion voting machines are not white as they were scheduled. Their servers were scheduled to be today in order to perform forensics analysis. That was after some back and forth. Now, there's been more questions about those machines in Georgia yesterday as one server reportedly crashed, but Team Trump saying it was actually a server that was removed. For more of their efforts today, we will see the team in Arizona for a hearing like we saw in Pennsylvania last week. But that state is set to certify its election results today as well. Sean, right. Emma.